A possible tsunami was the immediate threat here in B.C. Now there is the risk of radioactive fallout. Two nuclear power plants in Japan are damaged. And as Bell Peary reports, that's cause for alarm here. Japan has declared a state of emergency at two nuclear power plants. Five reactors have been shut down because of cooling problems due to power outages after the earthquake. Radioactive vapor has been released from at least one of them to protect the reactor. The question is, where will the vapor go? We tend to see weather systems coming up and over via sort of the Aleutian panhandle or down through Hawaii and up and in. In the long term, it'll come to us. The danger depends on what happens in Japan. If the cooling systems aren't repaired within 24 hours, a core meltdown is a risk. The worst case is a Chernobyl scenario with explosions destroying the reactors and sending a deadly plume of radioactivity into the air. Nuclear experts say venting radioactive steam into the atmosphere to alleviate pressure in the reactors is bad for the population generally. The winds right now, for the short term, are good for the Japanese. If a concentrated plume of this so-called dilute radioactive steam comes their way, enters under their door sills, under their window sills, and they breathe it in, they are getting a dose of radioactivity. Experts say taking the lid off a reactor is much like taking the lid off a pot of boiling water. You can't control what's going to happen. And in the case of the reactors, no one can say how long the steam will vent, how high it will vent, and how far it will travel. Bell Puri, CBC News, Vancouver. Okay, I found a map which shows what's going to be happening, the jet stream. This is the prediction forecast for the Japanese nuclear fallout uh, radiation plume that will be coming across in the jet stream. So here we go. This is Saturday the 12th. Here's Japan here. Saturday the 12th. Um, let me start again here. Um, all right, here we go. Here is Saturday the 12th, Sunday the 13th, Monday the 14th, Tuesday the 15th, Wednesday the 16th, Thursday the 17th, Friday the 18th, and Saturday the 19th. So what it looks like is it's going to be coming here and it's probably going to be within this area. It looks like it might actually go north and hit Alaska, Canada, California, Washington, Oregon. So that's what we have to look forward to. And this is a storm serve prediction for the next week uh, beginning March 12th. Through March 18th. Thanks for watching. Please share this information. Uh, get some proper uh, potassium iodine, and I suggest that we have Japan pay for it. Thanks for watching.